So now we're going to look at long-run competitive equilibrium. I think the way to explain just what exactly the long-run competitive equilibrium will be uh, will be with comparing it with what we saw before in the short run. In the short run, we saw that any individual firm could potentially earn an economic profit if the price was high. Let's say if price was here, they're going to follow out that marginal revenue equals marginal cost, and they're going to then earn this economic profit rectangle here. We also saw that they could potentially earn an economic loss. So if the price was too low, then they would follow out that marginal revenue equals marginal cost here, find out that quantity, and then calculate just what exactly that economic loss rectangle would have been. In the long run, however, we're going to say two things. One, no firm is going to want to earn an economic loss forever, and that no firm is going to be able to earn an economic profit forever either. So that's to say, in the long run, the price is going to converge to exactly average cost. So that's to say, in the long run competitive equilibrium, every firm will be producing at the break-even point. So how exactly does that work? Well, we're going to say that any firm that's earning an economic loss and has no option to somehow decrease their cost, they're going to exit the market. So that's to say, if they're going to earn that economic loss, in the long run, they're going to sell off their machines, they're going to sell off their equipment and their factories, and then they're going to declare bankruptcy or, or exit that market. What we're going to see then is that the supply curve is going to shift, and we're going to see that the price is going to increase as those, uh, as those firms making that loss exit the market. Uh, similarly, if there is an economic profit, we're going to see that firms will want to enter the market. They're going to develop new machines or build new factories and open up shop in order to get a, get a piece of that economic profit here. So how exactly is that going to work on the graph? We're going to break that down in a little more detail in just a second.